Hi everyone, it's Doug from Bjorn Territory. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to paint Bastion Carthalus, the Law Commander, three foot fabulous. I uh, hope you like this one. Enjoy the tutorial. We'll catch you in a bit. Well, actually, getting made. Decided to do him in this pose, face out, no mask, and he looks like he's walking, striding in. Looking like he's going to take on anything and just brush off his shoulders or anything faces him. So let's start painting him. As his base is a bit bigger than usual, what I'm going to use upside down my handle, a bit of blue tack, fits on quite nicely onto the handle like that. Giving him a base coat, seeing a reef bone, I think, spray. A bit tricky because there's lots of nooks and crannies, but you get there in the end. What I'm going to start off is with the chap's face. And I come in with a cyborg brown um, contrast paint. I'm going to paint Bastion in the same colour scheme as the rest of my storm host, so black and silver. So once I've got the skin in, and now I'm going to come in with the black, and I'm using that on all the flat parts of armour. So all the flat pieces of armour come in with the black. Next colour I've decided to use is your shanty bone, and I'm going to apply that to the inside of the cloak. Also, do the tassels, prayer flags, or whatever you want to call them. Next colour is red for the cloak. So, I'm decided to use my fist and red. I mean, Underneath shoulder pad, hold it down a little bit, a smoother flow of your brush. A little bit of it, large areas. For the edge of the cloak, I'm just going to use the tip of my brush. Coming in now with a lead belcher for all the silver areas. So I'll do his shoulder. Right, and then focus on all the metal parts, and the silver parts that I want. So lightning bolts, chain mail, knee piece, or silver. With a light brown, I'm just gonna dry brush face again. For his beard, I'm just going to go in with a little layer of Mechanicus Standard Grey. With more Mechanicus Standard Grey, I'm just going to apply the first coat for the base. A bit of corn red for the handle. So I've added on a little silver hot um, stripper on the head. I'm going to do a bit of white for the beard. A smaller paintbrush. Now for some washes. Agrax Surf Shade for the cloak. And, well, yeah, inside, outside the cloak. Quite a heavy wash. All the nooks and crannies. Next wash, a bit of known oil. And that'll be for all the metal armour parts. A little bit on his beard. All the silver bits, basically. A little bit more on his beard. For the hammer, I'm just going to come with a little, little bit of night haunt gloom to the sides. Night haunt gloom. The side of the hammer. And the edges of the hammer head as well. So a little bit of night horn gloom for the center of the eye of the gown. Just a little bit. For the armor, I'm just going to come in with a dry brush of grey. 
Is it Mechanica Standard? Let's come in now with black again. I'm going to flatter the area of the armour. And it makes it give a bit more depth. For the cloak, even the crevice is dark, I'm going to go back over the raised bits with my fist and red. Next bit for the red cloak, coming in with Evil Sun Scarlet and what I'm going to do is just focus on the edge, top and fold. For the last little bit of um, highlighting on the cloak, coming in with Wild Rider Red, I'm going to use a very Thin piece of Wild Rider Red down the centre. And the sharpest edges. With the weapon, I'm just going to come down a little bit of corn red on one side and then on the other. To keep that lacy. Now for the underside of the cloak, come back in with your shanty bang. The next highlight is going to be silver. It's going to come with the iron breaker and the edges. I'm just going to pick up the top edges with the iron breaker. Back to the cloak, I'm coming in with an edge highlight of a wrist bang. And I'll apply to the raised parts of the cloak. For the eye, I'm coming in with a little bit of white. Try and get a little bit of the hammer. Just a little bit of white on the edges. And perhaps there's mm, little lines and crosses. For the base, I'm just going to come in with a bit of a white dry brush. Alright, pretty cool. Enjoyed painting him. There's some extra bit of details that I'm just waiting to dry. I need to do a nice edge to this. I'm waiting for some of the washes to dry on the base. Come with a dry brush, but pretty pleased. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm quite pleased with the outcome. I think the base could do maybe a little bit of something else on it, but at the moment I'm quite pleased with him. Look forward to getting him on the tabletop, seeing what he can do. His stats are incredible. He's a one-man beast. Um, we'll see what he can do, and I will, I will report back to you. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you next week.